So I'm, um, I'm still been playing around with this um, this sort of cello patch, you know, the electro harmonics attack decay, on you know, a cello patch, seven string. Um, and this is kind of a lead into what I want to talk to you about tonight. It's about um, staying true to yourself and um, finding your voice, finding your identity. Um, now, I mean, I've, I've sort of talked about this before, but perhaps I haven't, I haven't gone this route before. I mean, I've talked, you know, before I've said, you know, that, like you start out where, you know, you, you copy in like, you know, like your, your favourite players or your favourite songs or things like that. But after a while, have you been playing, have you been playing for like, you know, years, decades? Um, you, you'll find... Um, You'll find that you that your 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 style will change. I mean, like if you if you're listening to um, you know lots of different styles of music for one thing. But as you're getting more sophisticated as a player, the type of music you're listening to will get more sophisticated as well. You know, it's only natural. It's only natural. Um. And for me, you know, I mean, because I mean, I I do listen to a lot of um, a lot of classical music. And um, and a lot of uh, sorry, pardon my phone going off. Um, I do listen to a lot of like uh, twentieth century um, classical music. Um, you know, like some uh, stuff I've been listening to lately, which is like you know what we're trying to reflect here. Um, it's like cello and piano. Um, it's just some of the voicings that you don't necessarily find in uh, like rock and metal and jazz and, and whatever. Um, and sometimes those sort of, I think those genres as well, they kind of eclipse, you know, the actual core essence of you as a player, you know. So what's all, what's brought all this about? I mean, there's been a few things. Um, apart from, you know, I think finally finding, you know, when I got this guitar and um, started doing this cello stuff, that's that was, that's been part of it. But... Um, I was thinking about this, you know, over the weekend, um, I went up to Birmingham, there was a, um, the guitar, yeah, guitar guitar in Birmingham, they had this, um, I'm not sure if they exactly call it like an open day, but it was like, um, it was like a special sort of, like a weekend dedicated to Gibson shop custom guitars, you know, like the real high end stuff, um, and, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, sort of, you can, you can appreciate a lot of work's gone into them. But um, but sort of you know dropping like four five thousand pounds on a guitar. I mean it's a it's a big investment. And then there was one point where you know there was I mean the the shop was um you know it's normally crowded on a Saturday anyway, but it was it was even more crowded, you know because like you know obviously people had heard about that this um, that the Gibson event was going to be on. 
Um, and you know, you're getting people. You know, we're trying these really expensive things out. Um, I mean, maybe you know, maybe it's like a treat. You know, maybe, you know, like those. Um, you know, you, you get that. You know, those. Um, you get those experience things as a present, can't you? You know, where you know, like you, you spend an afternoon sort of, you know, driving a rally car or driving an Aston Martin round a round a, a racetrack because you, you know, in real life, you're never going to get a chance to do things like that. You know? Maybe you could, you could, could, maybe you could compare it with things like that. But I was also thinking about, you know, like a lot of it was sort of typical music shop stuff, you know, where. People are just playing bits of songs, you know, playing like, um, you know, that usual, you know, the the sweet child of mine, you know, the the introduction, but that's as far as it goes, and then all oh, right, oh, I'll play Enzo Sandman now, and that's as far as it goes, and then going like into the the solo from Bohemian Rhapsody, but not getting the bend right because it's a that bend is a perfect fifth, but not getting that right because the the tension on the strings is too strong, and then fluffing the rest of it, or you know. Just playing bits of songs, um, and kind of thinking, "Cool, yeah, this is really cool," but not actually listening to what they're doing. Um, whereas I think it's so. I mean, you know, yeah. Without, I mean, without blaming the blame on, on other on others, I mean, it's yeah. You know, there are these custom shop things, and of course, you know, like it, it seems to be almost like having to queue up to try this stuff out. Um, but some of it was leaving me cold. I mean, like, um, you know, I'm not, not going to say who it was, but you know, one, one of the staff, you know, got this, um, like, this ten grand Les Paul out, you know, and it, had, it was basically it was like, um, like a lemon. It looked like a lemon drop. It wasn't quite the greeny, but it looked a bit like that, except it had, like, um, you know, the, the flaming was more sort of AA rather than triple A or, or whatever, and it, and it's sort of like. I had all like these patches where it's like sort of like fake, sort of worn and, and stuff, and and he was going, "Cool, look at this, eh? Whoa, eh? Eh?" And I was sort of mm, right, and said, you know, oh, don't get, you know, and, and and dropping all these sort of like innuendos about it as if like there's something sexual going on, and I just thought, well, it's a plank of wood <laughs> with some pickups on it. Um, you know, and, and is actually spending ten grand on on a guitar like that is it going to actually elevate you as a player? You know, and this is where I was starting to think about it. That um, I mean, I tried some things out. You know, um, but I was thinking more about like you know where I, where I am now, and if I get this whatever it is, if I get this pedal, if I get this, um, if I get this guitar, if I get this amplifier. Is it going to actually help me as a as a player to move forward? You know, am I actually staying true to where I am now? Not just where I am now, but where I'm going. You know, where where is my technique uh, taking me to? You know, why is it all about technique anyway? That's another thing. You know, this this um, I don't, don't want to use that word musicality. I don't even know if that actually has a proper definition. But that you know, as soon as I pick up guitar and plug in. There's a recognisable sound which is me, which could do, which you know, which can be refined and improved, and it will develop as much as I develop and learn new things, you know, like more theoretical things and perhaps more technical things as they come in, and the more I listen to stuff, um, and I'm just thinking, you know, that, that really, if if you you know if if you're looking at sort of you know like spending money on you know on pedals or guitars or amplifiers or lessons you know so you're doing these um you know these um these summer school source you know these um you know guitar clinics or guitar workshops or whatever they are you know are they actually going to help you improve i mean you know like i mean i didn't go to i i, I didn't i didn't actually do like a degree in music i mean i just picked up what i've known over the over the decades um, and did various summer schools in the past when I needed to. But um, you know, I just you know, I, I mean, again, without without naming names, you know, there's some of these sort of big name play, big, big name guitar players who've got these, um, you know, these these guitar schools. Um, 
And I was just thinking, you know, that if, if you went on one of those, good, bearing in mind, you know, like, it's probably going to be in America somewhere, so you've got to, like, you know, like, get, get money together for, you know, like, um, well, I'm going to get my passport renewed for one thing, but get, get money together for, you know, like, the plane ticket, and then the fees, and then the accommodation, and then, you know, and then the um, travel to the, the actual venue, and, and it all mounts up, and it mounts up. <coughs> And so you could be spending like you know several thousands of pounds you know on that, and if you're going to be cutting classes, or it's covering stuff which um, you're not particularly interested in, you know, um, it's going to be is is it is it really going to be worth the uh, worth the experience, you know? Um, and I was kind of again I was kind of thinking you know back to this um, this uh, this weekend you know where. Like people are playing, you know, baby bits of Guns N' Roses songs, and um, or playing like sort of blues licks, and um, I remember listening. You know, there's one, there's one guy that you know, and he was playing something, and he, and he was playing this one heartfelt blues note, but it was kind of like it was just, you know, it just seemed to be lost in, the, you know, in the actual noise of what was going on on in the in the rest of the room, you know. Um, that maybe he is gonna, maybe he could um, be, you know, this great, you know, blues guitarist somewhere down the line. But, you know, I think it's just a case of just thinking, you know, where's it going? Where's it leading to? I think that's the main point. Yeah, I think that's the point I want, I wanted to try and make tonight. Um, and I think, you know, more recently, you know, since I started experimenting, you know, like with guitar synths and things and seven strings and taking seven strings in a different direction than all the the gent stuff then um, I think I'm starting to, to find, you know, some, not only finding a niche, but finding my voice and finding, you know, where I want to go. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong, you know, on the channel there will be, um, you know, I will be sort of reviewing, you know, some of my favourite players and and um, bits, bits of equipment and stuff in future. But I want to be concentrating more on, you know, like, you know, on, on what my voice is, you know, and... Um, and in, you know, so that in, in turn, in me finding my voice, you you'll be able to find your voice. You know, if, I hope that, does that make some sense? You know, I hope I'm not just like um, just rabbiting on here, but um, but it's something I've been thinking about a lot. You know, so um, yeah. Anyway, uh, please comment below. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.